What if you could find a phone with a decent camera, 4K video, incredible battery life, and a big screen, all for less than $200? Well, Xiaomi has one. Hey, what's up, guys? The Redmi 5 Plus is the spiritual successor to the hugely popular Redmi Note 4. Let's see what it has to offer. I'm Will for GSM Arena, and this is our Redmi 5 Plus review. The Redmi 5 Plus is built with an aluminum unibody. Ours is in the gold color option with a white face and golden back. The edges and corners are rounded, and the whole build is nice and solid. As you'd expect from this price range though, there is no waterproofing, so keep that in mind. Unlike the Xiaomi's of the past, this one has a taller 6-inch 1080p screen with slimmer bezels. It's an IPS LCD, with edges slightly curved by 2.5D glass. Images look sharp and contrast is great with pretty deep blacks. Sunlight legibility isn't outstanding even though the max brightness is good, but it does pretty well for a mid-range phone. Besides the screen, another change is that the capacitive touch keys are gone. Now navigation is done exclusively on screen. At the bottom is a loud single speaker and the microphone, as well as a micro USB port. We wish Xiaomi would move on to the USB-C type. The 3.5mm headphone jack is at the top. While plugged in, you can access the built-in FM radio too. One neat feature is an IR blaster, which you can use to control appliances from your phone. The Redmi 5 Plus has two different storage options available, but storage is also expandable through microSD. The fingerprint reader is rear-mounted, it's easy to reach, and is really fast to wake up your phone. The 5 Plus' user interface is Xiaomi's MIUI 9 over Android Nougat 7.1.2. It's a pretty clean interface, but there are some features that make it stand out. All of your apps and widgets are kept on the home screen. No app drawer here. To the left, you'll find the Quick Card page. It contains different cards with things like news and weather, and they're customizable. And themes are fully supported to customize the look of your home screen, and you can always download more. Xiaomi chose to go with the Snapdragon 625 on the Redmi 5 Plus. While it's not the newest silicon around, it still provides great value with performance and power efficiency. It's only in graphics tests where it falls a bit behind, but it's alright for this price range. In everyday use, apps open with no problem and we didn't see any noticeable stutter. The Redmi 5 Plus also has a large 4000 mAh battery. When combined with a power-efficient chipset, battery life is fantastic. It earned a whopping 104-hour endurance rating in our proprietary tests. We do wish charging was faster, but it's okay. We were able to charge up to 30% in half an hour. The Redmi 5 Plus has a 12-megapixel main camera with an f2.2 lens and phase detection autofocus. There's no trendy second camera or bokeh mode available. There are plenty of shooting modes, though, including tilt-shift. And there's some filters to touch up your photos. There is a manual mode, but without shutter speed or focus controls, it's a bit rudimentary. Daylight image quality is very good. Photos are sharp and detailed, with reasonably low noise and warm colors. We would have liked to see more contrast, though. In low light, photos come out soft, with some noise and not a ton of detail. About what you'd expect in this price range, especially as there is no OIS. There is a handheld twilight mode you can enable to enhance low light photos. It doesn't do much except clean up the noise, but still, that's helpful. The front-facing selfie cam is 5 megapixels. Shots come out with high contrast, pleasant colors, and a decent amount of detail, though there is some noise and dynamic range is only about average. Videos can be taken in 4K as well as 1080p, a rarity for a phone at this price. 4K videos are really nice. There's plenty of detail, low noise, good colors and contrast, and above average dynamic range. We only wish the sound quality was better. So, the Redmi 5 Plus. It's a mid-range phone that offers quite a lot with its solid build, large screen, big battery, and 4K video. It's not without its shortcomings, but at this price point, it's pretty hard to complain. Xiaomi has released the 5 Plus in China, and for now you'd have to buy a grey import with a global ROM pre-install, like ours. But even this way, it's a great deal, and it'll get even better once it becomes officially available worldwide. Good job, Xiaomi. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and you can always stop by gsmarina.com for our full test findings. See ya.